welcome back to the next video and uh, this is going to be another event breakdown video and we are going to talk about water wars i believe most of you have already played this particular event i personally like this event because it only takes me about 30 to 40 minutes to collect all the rewards and the rewards are not bad for that much amount of gaming um we are going to break down this particular event in our usual fashion in which we are, we are going to talk about the event introduction, rules, um, the rewards and potential hero pairs that we can use for this particular event. Without any further ado, let's dive right into it. First, let's go to event introduction and rules. First of all, you need to be a level 8 HQ or up to play this event which is pretty standard um this uh the, this event runs for from wednesday to friday it used to be saturday sunday only uh one hour slot and there used to be two slots so total of four hours over the weekend and a uh, few months ago they changed this so i like this new change since i can play it anytime i feel like so that's another good thing and uh about this particular event few things to note first thing is this is going to be a five versus five event you are going to be matched with the uh, five other players of different region different alliances and you are going to fight the, another set of five players to make the squad for this particular event only the cap uh, the hero level and talent counts i am pretty sure the equipment and parts count but uh, armaments don't count since to make the squad there is no option to select armaments if i'm wrong please correct me in the comments so everybody knows but so far i've seen that armaments don't count and you can only use t3 troops no matter what your troop level is or oh, sorry which tier troop you have unlocked so this was general about the squad about the arena there will be two sides left and right they usually blue and red and they have a safe zone and uh, once you land there will be about 15 seconds timer before you can actually get your troops out of the safe zone and and the battle is basically divided into two cycles in each cycle you will have 14 zombies to hit and one zombie boss that appears at two specific times. 14 zombies are divided into set of five on top, four in the middle and five at the bottom. And in first round, every zombie carries one water and one buff. There are three kinds of buffs that we have. Attack, speed and defense. And you kill the zombie collect water, can and a buff, come back to your safe zone. And if you don't come back to the safe zone, the buff and the water won't count. Water is not going to be counted for your team. Buff is not going to be counted for you. And while you carry a water, you get a speed and defense debuff. So first things first, all the buffs can be stacked up to uh, five times after that if you collect the same buff it's not gonna count same goes for debuff it can be stacked up to five times so i would recommend don't carry more than three to four waters at a time because carrying more water does not make sense if you are an easy target for enemy to hit and steal all the water you collected so be mindful about that uh, you do get points for water but don't uh, create that disadvantage for your team next thing is uh, once you are in battle like you killed zombies you took some damage you did some pvp with the other place you took some damage and once you return to your safe area your squad will start to heal and once you heal 100 percent you get a 10 second speed boost and that boost can be uh, broken by three things one the 10 second timer is over or you stop to collect another buff 
or lying on the field which nobody collected or you enter into battle with a zombie or another pvp player so those are the ways the speed boost um breaks and uh, at the end of uh, before going to the end let's talk about the two cycles in the first cycle you kill 14 zombies and around uh, when the timer is about 6 minutes or 5:30 i think a zombie boss appears you kill the zombie boss and you get three waters and uh, some three to four waters and some uh, buffs again collect them come back to your safe zone for it to count and uh, after that you get about a minute of pvp time now during this time i have seen people try out different combos since many people are running riders or infantry people send out a different set of squad for this 1 minute pvp mostly range or infantry to kill the enemies infantry or riders i've not seen a lot of people using range but lately i've seen people using range i personally don't like it because i mostly run riders and uh, if i see a range i kill it but it's personal choice it depends on how you play after um that 1 minute around 3 minute 52 seconds that's when another set of 14 zombies appear this time around you'll get uh less zombies with water and more uh, more buffs so out of 14 you might have around uh, around 7 to not all zombies carry water at this time most of them carry only buffs collect the buff come back to your uh safe zone for it to count and heal and around i think uh, mm, two minutes timer that's when the second zombie boss appear you kill them collect two it does carry three to four waters again collect them come back and uh, i think in total we get 20 8 waters if i'm not wrong i never counted all of them something like that so there is a possibility of a draw 28 or 30 yeah i think so so there is a possibility of a draw most likely it's 28 correct me somebody in the comments so yeah at the end of the water wars you do get water points it is based on how much um, buffs how much what um, buffs you collected how many water you transported how many troops or uh, enemy squads you killed um yeah so all those thing counts for water points plus those things count for certain ranking or titles that you get and those titles carry water points too so the more water points you collect your end goal is to collect up to 80 water points the faster you do it the faster you finish the event and uh, these are some resources speed ups fragments um uh, yeah armament fragments and this is also good so the rewards are decent um and if you win you usually get points from somewhere between 20 to 40 and if you use you get less than 15 for the most part so that's how you collect water points these daily um rewards uh, so some resources and speed ups these reset every day so since this event run from wednesday till friday doing uh this particular so playing this particular event once a day and on the last day play twice will give you most amount of rewards so something to keep in mind with this i think the only thing left for us to talk about is uh, particular pairs that you can use i'll share some of the pairs that i've used i've experimented a lot with this what worked and what did not work for me first things infantry and ranged didn't work well for me because i like to hit collect and run if i if i see enemy squad i like to kill them collect the rewards resource uh, water and run 
so i did um use uh, cynthia i use cynthia a lot just because her talent build is field battle and uh, this particular talent build gave me the most speed if you want to try copy this you want to copy you can if i change it and maybe get more speed i'll let you know so this is one that works well uh, for me as a lead for the support i have used cynthia sorry catherine just because extra rider attack uh, buff i have used bella with um, cynthia i have used elena with cynthia i have used park and akemi all of them so far worst to work best with for me was um, cynthia and elena this worked best for me so far i've seen people use uh, catherine and bella or um, bella and catherine whichever way uh, bella and elena catherine and elena basically different ways to pair the same rider heroes and uh, if you are using freya and park if you don't have legendary this is a good pair to work with just don't get into pvp run if you collect water just collect it and run don't get into pvp because most of the people are going to be using uh using uh legendary heroes so uh one unusual pair that i've seen that works well is jeremy and akemi akemi gives extra damage and speed reduction so that's good and uh jeremy buff engine squad so i've seen people use jeremy and akemi i'm going to try it too and run it with t1 engines or any engines i'm going to check the speeds of each of them actually not t1 engines obviously it's going to be t3 so yeah uh it gives 30% boost to engine speed uh engine squad speed with this and engines are more fast anyways compared to any other troop type they take more damage but they are fast so if you are using a kemi jeremy and a kemi i would say collect the water and run with the boost buffs that you get from zombies and uh, there will be very less squads that will be able to catch up to you but yes if somebody hits you you are going to be dying faster don't get into pvp try to run away but yeah this this one squad is difficult to catch one particular hero i'm going to talk ab- talk about i want to mention here is uh something someone that i don't try to use i used her a few times and it does not work well for me some of you already know that hero that hero is bella i tried her on water wars and bounty ground doesn't work well and now i exploit then that, that one weakness that kind of screwed me over which is her second skill when not in battle uh she gains 30% speed entering battle 150 rage which is good but the second half is travel speed will be reduced by 10% for 3 seconds while taking skill damage we all know that many people try to have the you can say faster skill cycle as possible so usually a lot of people have figured out how to get the skill cycle down to 7 seconds and during this event around 3 squads are hitting you at once so everybody will have their own timing for skill drop this particular 3 seconds kind of turns out to be up to 6 to 8 second of slow down speed i tried running with her and it's kind of, sometimes i feel like she is running towards the safe zone to heal and she does not heal no she she is just stuck she is running and she is stuck because of this slow down effect and plus uh, if you somebody is using something like say okay me that the wide speed reduction this stacks on top of her own speed reduction now i basically exploit that one skill and if i see a bella carrying water she does not reach the safe zone because of this one thing 
I made sure I hit her and uh, I did use a gamey to slow down, slow the her down. So again, these are my own thoughts. This is a controversial <laughs> uh, thing that I said. So some people might give me a backlash on the comment section, but this is something that I've seen work for me. If Bella works for you, please use her. She's a great hero, great damage. It just for this event, I need speed. That doesn't work well for me. And with that, I can conclude this video. If there's anything that I missed, please ask me in the comments. Or if you have any questions or comments about it, you can ask me in the comment section or in the game. And uh, with that, thank you for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video.